Hi, I'm Marnie Zimmer with the Western Northern Region of the Canadian Wildlife Health Cooperative and today we're going to talk about bats and what happens when a bat comes into our lab for necropsy. We get roughly 40 to 50 bats each year that come into our lab for necropsy and we normally test them for white nose syndrome, um, rabies and other diseases that bats can get. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take you into the necropsy room and show you what kind of equipment we use to necropsy the bats but also what sort of protective equipment that we wear to protect us from any diseases the bats can give us. So without further ado, we'll go on to the next. So this is Dr. Stephen Scott. He is one of our wildlife pathologists and he's gonna to talk to you about what kind of PPE we wear and what sort of equipment we use to do the necropsy. Dr. Scott? So for every bat necropsy that comes in, we are triple gloved. We wear cut resistant gloves just to uh, prevent um, any sharp penetrating wounds to prevent the spread of rabies. Um, we wear arm sleeves just to prevent further contamination of our coveralls. And we're also wearing a uh, gown. So these are some of the instruments that we use when we do the necropsy on the bat. Dr. Scott will now explain what each one means. So here we have a pair of forceps and we generally just use this to grip onto any tissues during the autopsy. Um, we have scalpel blades and the scalpel handle which we use to dissect the uh, bat. Um, we have scissors, commonly use these to cut out specific tissues. And we also have the small pair of rangeurs, which we use to open up the skull of the bat to remove the brain so we can send it away to test for rabies. And we also use these thin strips of um, paraffin wax. And what we do with these is we roll up tissue our wings with this so we're able to trim them in and look for evidence of inflammation in the skin or any signs of white nose syndrome. And all the tissues that we collect during necropsy, we place them into small cassettes, which we then place into formalin, a fixative that we need to um, have these tissues fixed in before we trim them in for microscopic examination. So what Dr. Scott is doing now is he's looking at the tissue and he's going to take a small piece off and place it in the white cassette and then that white cassette's gonna go into the fixative where it will be processed and then made into a slide. So while Dr. Scott works in the biosafety cabinet, you can see that he is very careful to make sure that he remains underneath the biosafety cabinet so that um, everything is contaminated within it and he is clean outside. So he's just gonna be cutting and removing tissue and placing it into those small cassettes to then be placed into the so there you have it. That's what happens when a bat comes into Western Northern. We hope you enjoyed the video.